Okay, welcome to the first session on the second day. We have Takanori Suzuki here. He is the uh, vice chair of PyCon Japan Association and he is also the director of Be Proud Incorporated. He is the Python climber there. And from 2014 to 16, he was chair of PyCon Japan. Exactly. And he teaches um, Python to beginners as a lecturer at Python Bootcamp all over Japan. So welcome Takanori Suzuki, his talk, Hi. Decade of PyCon in Japan, how we spread the Python community in Japan. Thank you. Thank you for introducing myself. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch my talk. Uh, could you change the main video to me? Yeah. Can I pin that? Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you for taking the time to watch my talk. I'm Takanori Suzuki. Now, I'm presenting from Japan. I'm very happy to be able to talk at EuroPython 2020 online. Uh, my talk title is a Decade of PyCon JP. How we spread, uh, how we spread the Python community in Japan. Today, I will talk about the 10 year history of PyCon JP and how we organize the conference at its ground since it was launched. And I will talk about the various activities that are spreading Python communities in Japan. At last, I will talk about what we are going to do in the future. Uh, I'd be happy to give you feedback on Twitter or Discord or something. Hashtag is EuroPython. And this slide available on GitHub. GitHub.com slash Takanori slash slides. Please check it out. Uh, if you have any questions, please write to Zoom Q&A, uh, push Q&A button in bottom of Zoom screen, or write to talk Decade of PyCon JP channel in Discord. Okay, uh, before the main topic, I will introduce myself. Uh, I'm Takanori Suzuki. My Twitter is Takanori, please follow me. And uh, I'm also active in several Python related communities. And last year, I was challenged to talk or poster at Python conference around the world, which I called PyCon tour, PyCon tour to me, for me. I presented at nine conferences on the tour, mostly in Asia. And in the tour, I presented the poster session at EuroPython 2019 in Basel. Did you see me in Basel? It was my first Euro Python and a very exciting experience. Today, I'm happy to talk at Euro Python 2020, but I'd like to visit Dublin next conference and I want to drink Irish craft beer. By the way, I'm a vice chairperson of PyCon JP Association. This organization is like uh, EuroPython Society, uh, Python Software Foundation. We will be held PyCon JP 2020 online in August. You can participate PyCon JP from your home. We have English tracks and we also have Japanese tracks. Please join us. Now, Let's get back to the main topic. First, I'm going to talk about the history of PyCon JP. The story goes back to 2010. Uh, Singapore hosted the first PyCon APAC. APAC means Asia Pacific. 
and four Pythonistas attended the conference from Japan. And they met for the first time, and they enjoyed first PyCon. When they came back to Japan, they think, uh, we'd like to hold a PyCon in Japan, like PyCon APAC or like use PyCon or Euro Python. Next year, in January 2011, we held the first PyCon in Japan. We named the event PyCon Mini JP. We added the word mini to indicate it was a trial event. It was a small event with one day, seven talks, four sponsors, single track, and 136 participants. Then the event was a success. Uh, this is PyCon Mini JP website. It's a simple website. Uh, PyCon Mini JP was a success in 2011. So we hold PyCon JP every year since 2011. There is English talks and Japanese talks. In 2013, we held PyCon APAC in Tokyo. APAC means Asia Pacific. It was first PyCon APAC to be held outside of Singapore. Uh, since 2013, we Asia organizers held PyCon APAC on a rotating basis across Asia. Mm, for example, Japan, uh, Taiwan, Korea, Malaysia, Philippines. Mm. Next, uh, let's talk about the growth of PyCon JP. This chart is a number of participants. The number of participants are growing for 10 years. Currently, about 1,000 people are attending uh, in PyCon JP. And conference days, number of talks and sponsors are increasing, increasing as well. One day to four days, seven talks to 47 talks and four sponsors to 43 sponsors. Uh, as I've explained, the, the PyCon JP has grown. I'm going to talk about how we organized and managed it. Uh, organizer team uses a variety of communication tools, Slack, Slack chat, and Jira for issue management, and Google Drive for file sharing, uh, spreadsheet and document, and GitHub for source code management, and Google Calendar, and G Suite, uh, manage the PyCon.jp domain and the PyCon.jp domain email. And Compass is event management system. The, in 2013, we have established a general, general incorporated association. The name is PyCon JP Association. The purpose of association is to manage money and contract for PyCon JP event. It's run by five or six board members. I have been a board member since 2013, and now I'm a vice chairperson of the uh, PyCon JP Association. I was, the chair, I was the chairperson of PyCon JP event from 2014 to 16. The event team and, and the association are different, different organiz, organizations, event team and association. And I changed event organizing because of the size of PyCon JP and the number of staff, both is growing. I changed PyCon JP event team to more open from 2014. The purpose 
is to get more people interested in the event team and to provide a reference for other technical events, our know-how. I opened every staff meeting to make it easier for new staff to join. The event was open to guest participation and some people went from guests to new staff. We regularly publish our activities on the blog to get interested in event management. And we created an operation manual and made it reusable. Uh, this is a PyCon JP administration manual translated by Google Translate. Uh, for example, the staff activities and team management and several teams, the uh, information, social uh, secretarist and the media team and the venue team and that's something. Okay. Then uh, I'll share some of our activities without PyCon JP. In 2015, small PyCon and the region were held in Sapporo and Hiroshima. Sapporo is north of Japan, north. Uh, Hiroshima is west. PyCon GP shared operating know-how and support, supported public relations, money and people to local organizers. We also provided subdomain of PyCon GP for PyCon mini website. This is a list of PyCon mini events in Japan. It has been held certain times in seven cities. And PyCon Kyushu is held all over Kyushu area. Uh, 2018, Fukuoka. 19, Okinawa. 20, Kumamoto. But Kumamoto is canceled. This is map of uh, PyCon mini event. Uh, Sapporo and Shizuoka. Osaka, Hiroshima, and Kyushu area, Fukuoka, Kumamoto, Okinawa. Next activity is Python Bootcamp. In 2016, PyCon JP Association launched the Python Bootcamp. The event is half day hands on for beginners. We teach an introduction to Python programming. The purpose of the event is to spread Python around Japan. I or another instructor visit all over Japan to teach Python and connect with locals and help to launch a local community. We hold in cooperation with local staff and local teaching assistants, TAs. This is basic timetable of Python Bootcamp. Uh, we take the lunch, I, I take the lunch with, uh, with local TA and staffs. And after, after 13 to 17, we, we teach Python in Python Bootcamp from the basics of Python programming to web scraping in the hands on. After the event, we go to the party. It is a fun time for me because I like local craft beer. <laughs> this is text book translated by Google Translate. Uh, Python data types, basic types and the Python data types collection with the tablet something and so on. Uh, okay. okay. And we created Python bootcamp t-shirts. 
we are giving T-shirts to people who have contributed twice as a local staff or TA. A lot of people contributed to Python Bootcamp. And now 32 people have these T-shirts. Result in numbers of Python Bootcamp, we hold 41 times in four years with 970 local participants joined the whole Python Bootcamp. This is a map of Python Bootcamp. We held a Python Bootcamp in 34 prefectures. The West are 13 prefectures. And several local communities have been launched in the wake of Python Bootcamp. For example, uh, in Yamanashi Shingenpai, in Kanagawa area Shonanpai, and uh, Shizuoka area Unagi Pai, and uh, Kagawa area Udon Pai. Udon is a uh, soul food of Kagawa. And PyCon JP has more people coming from local area. This photo was taken at the poster session of PyCon JP. Uh, we we presentation about Python Bootcamp and the Python Bootcamp local stuff and TAs gathering in Python PyCon JP. Okay, next activity in 2019, we started a new activity Python Bootcamp Caravan. Uh, no candidacy from new prefecture for Python Bootcamp. Conversely, let's visit local region from Tokyo. Then we decided to have a PyCon JP booth at the OSC. OSC is an open source event held all over Japan. And we, last year, we had a booth at six locations. And we introduced the PyCon JP activities and handed out Python stickers at the booth and gave a talk about Python syntax or something. Uh, this is a photo of PyCon JP booth. And next, uh, regional meetup. Uh, last year, uh, we had a uh, regional meetup. The purpose of a regional meetup is a stronger relationship with local communities. The event held at PyCon JP 2019 with local community members. We discussed the sharing of ideas and worries the local communities have. About 30 people gathered from all over Japan for the meetup, uh, all over Japan, north from Hokkaido and south from Okinawa. Then uh, we hold online regional meetup. About 15 people from all over Japan participated in the meetup. We've just started the meetup, so we are going to continue to hold it. Uh, summary of this talk. We have spread Python throughout Japan with various activities. PyCon JP, PyCon Mini Event, Python Bootcamp, and Python Bootcamp Caravan, and no, regional meetup. I think it's important to be face-to-face -face communication. First time, we go to meet local people and then and the reunion makes the relationship more stronger in the future we hope to hold the pycon jp outside of tokyo and hold the python bootcamp in all prefectures and hold the pycon mini in more cities but Many things are going to change with COVID-19. 
several countries switch to, to online event. For example, PyCon US and EuroPython and PyCon APAC Malaysia and PyCon Korea and PyCon Japan. However, I wonder what the difference would be if we held online events in different countries. What's the difference? Online US PyCon and online Euro Python and online PyCon JP. Online is easy to attend from a foreign country like me, like now. But online makes me feel less like I attended Euro Python because I'm in Japan. <laughs> I'm here. I'd like to meet the local participants offline and let's go have a beer together in the future. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> this year, uh, we launched new event, Python Charity Talks in Japan. The event is online donation event uh half day uh, single track on five session the goal of the event is donate to psf python software foundation because psf psf is due to the financial impact of the cancellation of pico us this year and PyCon GP has received money support from PSF in the past. The event is our way of giving back to PSF. A result of Python charity talks in Japan. This was uh, our first online event. I think a lot of people attended and enjoyed it. Uh, Maybe 200 attendees joined this event. And we had a lot of companies, communities, and people supporting us as sponsors. And the result, as a result, 1.4 million yen, about 11,300 11, euro was raised. I think the event was a huge success. If you are interested, watch the video, but Japanese only. <laughs> Thank you for your attention to my talk. I hope something in this talk will help you. And if you have any ideas, please let me know. Questions and feedback. <laughs> Thank you very much for ah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. talk. If you have a um, questions and feedback, uh, please write uh, talk decade of PyCon JP Discord channel. Yes, or, please go to the Discord channel. Just press Control K or Command K if you have a Mac, and huh? then you type decade and you will find this channel. Or now you can also use Zoom to um, ask questions. There is a button Q&A down there. And if you ask questions now, we can just ask live. <laughs> and I see there are no questions yet. So I have the first question. So um, you, it's really amazing. You do many things for the Python community. Yeah. Um, but one thing you mentioned is, is really correct. You said there is there are no local um, events at the moment in a certain way. So do you think we should make a global conference and not a Europeans and PyCon Japan, or or is it still necessary to? I mean, I mean, it's it's still nice if if if, if I attend a PyCon Japan online. I know it's, uh -huh. it's organized from Japan. So what do you think about that? Hmm? Sorry, please repeat, repeat, repeat your question. Uh, you, you said um, 
before that online conferences are not really local. Ah, uh, yeah. But I, I think uh, there is still a, a little bit of, of local elements in online conference. For example, if, if I attend the PyCon Japan online, I expect that the organizers are from Japan, for example. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And, well, and maybe that, the yeah. language. So what, what do you think about that? Should we, should we completely switch to global conferences? Or uh, is, it, is it still better to have local conferences online? I think, I think the online conference is good for the opportunity to talk and attending the all over the world. It's good. But the, the, I think the, I gave a talk, but only gave a talk. I could not communicate the several people. Discord is less for me because Discord, Discord do not give beer for me. <laughs> <laughs> I want the, the real communication in the several local area. Ah, uh, yeah. And, the, and Japanese people cannot talk. Ha. Yeah, every Let's... Don't speak don't, English. Don't speak English. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, Euro is a global, but Japan is local. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to. The uh, uh, our PyCon JP is uh, not a local event, uh, international event. Uh, because we take we provide uh, English track and uh, Japanese track. But I want to come to so many foreign speakers come to, well, come to Japan and uh, I want to meet foreigner uh, foreign foreigner speakers is it okay yes thank you very much are Thanks. there any more questions so if there are no questions now you can join the chat channel on discord yeah. as I okay. said it's called talk decade of PyCon JP, yes, it's a title of the, you, you find it um, on Discord. And I think now we can play some advertisements of our sponsors. And thank you very much again, Takanori. Thank you.